so this would be day 15 in the um, servo motion project we're doing uh, 30 day project and this is again start from scratch uh, all the ACD file um, coordinated motion and the fact of uh, having a fully done HMI system so uh, just kind of go over it you know we still have our ACD file uh, we're currently on the pro process of working on our HMI uh, HMI station so it and the, and the HMI is going to be a factory top uh, SE and it's going to be a, uh, a network distributed so it's not going to have a, a, a redundant system because we are running everything under um, with no hardware it's, uh, it's running under a RS Logix emulate uh, so basically we're fully simulating everything we're not trying to uh, use any kind of hardware but we are keeping it in the base principles of the HMI system and, and therefore as much as we can close to uh, actual implementation of you know putting us on the hardware as we can because um, we did our our um, the last video is we did the client the uh, client keys we did the uh, macro we did both of those you know kind of go back over what we did today we want to go in and add our splash screen uh, well, we did add our splash screen, but we want to add like graphics and stuff to it. So, um, with that said, we can do that. Uh, what we can do too is we want to. I don't know if you recall, but if you watched the last video, we came in in there our client macro. We had a Z header, which we haven't we haven't made yet. So, what I'd like to do is go ahead and make that screen. But new, uh, first and foremost, properties, right? Specified. Again, we um, want to keep it as, uh, as maximum as we can for the uh, system that we're running. Uh, and again, if you didn't miss, if you missed the last video, the properties of anything below a factory top 10 or factory top 9 is going to be uh, a lower definition. So, uh, factory talk, I believe Rockwell has moved to a more uh, a higher resolution factor on the newer versions um, it, but again anything lower than not to say you can't use it but um, anything lower than a like a version 9 of uh, factory talk se is going to be you know to a 1280 by 1020 um, in this case we're going to make the height a little different though when i make the height about 10 or uh, 90 i should say come back and change our Axis position, or, or basically our position where we want to, to pull up everything to zero and zero. Uh, change our back back color. We want to uncheck the uh, system menu and the minimize button. Um, everything else seems to be, you know, looks good. You know, we don't want any security, we want anything of that nature. So we apply and. This is going to give us our header size, right? So that's what we want. We want to start off with our header size. And okay, so um, sorry about that. So this is this would be our header, and what we want to do is, being that we named it already. Uh, you know, we, we did a placeholder down here in the start macro as a uh, a Z header. We want to basically name this a Z header, right? So when we close it out, this is going to be Z header. And now that we have that made, so now the two screens we made is the splash screen and the header screen. Now. What I'd like to do is go ahead and fill out the um, the splash screen. So what we can do is we could say let's go to drawings, panels, and then of course that would happen. Want to add a panel in here? And what we want to do in this panel 
this basically, let's see, put it as, see what that looks like. Nope, it's not what I wanted. Okay, so back color, back color. So what I'm doing right here, if you just seen that, uh, basically I was kind of getting the outside framing of, of the system. Like, So we'll go back and look at that too. Um, so I put in a raised inset, right? A raised inset. So if you look at, if I change this, you'll see it doesn't get quite as big. So we'll keep it like a 10 just for now, you know, just to kind of get it. I don't know, it looks nicer. Um, and then transparent, right? Um, solid would be all the way across transparent. And then using the box style, like the pattern style, you can use um, that basically uh, does, does the feature that I just did. So um, at this point, we want to come in and uh, make our second one kind of more like, like an outline, if you would. And then so we'll come back and do another panel. And I'll stretch this out later. And let's see. Raised inset. We'll make this one a 20. <clears throat> I'll tell you what, let's, let's kind of get this closer to the, the scheme of of, uh, actually, we'll do that in a, in a little bit. What we want to do right now is add our logo. So, what I want to do here is I haven't done, I haven't added the logo that I wanted into my images. So I want to go to, um, sorry, I want to go to images, and I want to add to the component. I want to go to my desktop. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. And I want to add my image in. So what I did is I, I pre-made an image, uh, basic, basically the image that I have on my, uh, the image that I have for my YouTube channel. So basically I'm just going to use that. And what I want to do is come back to my main screen on my splash screen. And add image. And then basically <laughs> come in from, like, if it says uh, add from. Actually, no, I don't want to do that. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, launch library. No. Paste from library. not seeing the image so we can do add from again to see if that that helps uh, add from so I guess there's two ways you can do this you can do it by already adding it or you can add it in like this so that's a little big so we want to change that Let's get rid of this one too. Okay, so this is a little big. So let's go ahead and shrink this down just a little bit. <clears throat> but you kind of see what I'm doing, right? Kind of formatting it for, you know, basically for what I'm doing. And in this in this case, what we'll do is we'll say uh, we'll add in another uh, drawing and we'll make it a text. And we'll put the writing. We'll start the writing off at, at uh, 28, and then we'll put servo motion 
project. So what I want to do with that is, <clears throat> obviously I want to kind of match the color a little bit. Uh, that's definitely not going to work. Uh, let's see. Let's go with that blue. It kind of makes it, yeah, that kind of, that kind of lays in a little bit. Um, so the, the kicker is right here, just like kind of graphically making it what you want. Um, anyway, so you kind of get the, the gist of what we did here. Um, you know, putting in our, our splash screen, putting in this, uh, in the uh, headers. Um, let's, so let's change this a little bit. Let's see if this looks a little bit better. No, that's way too much blue. <laughs> Sorry about that. <clears throat> that is way too much blue. That's not right either. So um, let's just go back to what we had. Maybe a black would do. <clears throat> no, I don't like that either. Okay, so <laughs> you can get real picky with what you're doing. Um, anyway, so that kind of highlights goodness. Um, that kind of highlights uh, the way this that should work. Um, you know, adding an image, uh, adding you know your first splash screen logo. Um, you know how that how that's going to kind of go go about right. Um, I don't think we've made this full screen, so yeah, let's do that. So our placement's going to slightly change. So if you look at it, full screen. Kind of want it here, and then we can spread this out. <coughs> Okay, so now that we've added our logo, um, our, our first splash screen, we've added a description, and that kind of give us the first landing page of uh, when we start up. So save that, and again, it's going to come back, and we'll always have it. Um, we made our, our header, right, so we made the header. Uh, basically, uh, we'll come in and, and throw in uh, let's throw in an, an alarms and events uh, banner. So let's do this. And we'll come back and again, we'll, we'll make all this stuff um, how we want it. But for the most part, actually, I don't want it the banner. I want it... Trying to think what I've um, done in the past. Okay, so I'm I'm gonna have to play with that a little bit. <clears throat> but the the what the point of it is, I'm gonna have an alarm banner here. I'm gonna have uh, a couple of different header elements and stuff of that nature. Um, and what I may do for the sake of time is I may just go ahead because this screen is so detailed. Is I may come back and like make it. Um, exactly how I want it and then come back and explain the elements behind it because there's going to be some VBA code there's going to be some uh, sign-ins there's going to be some navigation um, just a, just a little bit of uh, complexity and, and I believe it's gonna it would kind of dig into way too much detail um, to do it in front of uh, you know while we're doing a video it would really cut into time so what I may do is I may import it in and then explain everything I did. Um, or not import it in, but I'll make it and then explain everything I did in, in like a, the next very next video. So that way we kind of we all kind of understand why we did things and, and you know keep it in the same uh, platform as, that, as far as that goes. Not just to say we did it, but we want to understand why we did it, right? So um, 
because we're right at the 15 minute mark and I hate to, to add any more to this video um, besides the fact of what we've done so far. Okay, so um, again, without without further ado, we uh, we added the screen. We added, I'm sorry, we added our uh, Z header screen, which is the last element of the client that we you know we made on the, the prior video. We added some graphics to our splash screen, which I'm kind of up and down with. I may change the color on that. Um, so uh, we we did that, and uh, we're going to come back and and uh, do the finish out the the header screen. All right. So uh, without further ado, I appreciate your time, appreciate your your support, and uh, I have some links that shown up shown up below in case you kind of picked up on this a little late, or if you just want to refresh and look at some of the older videos. Um, again, thank you for your time, and uh, we'll have another one for you tomorrow.